Hello. I'm uh, Ingrid Rojas Contreras, and I'm reading from The Man Who Could Move Clouds. At first, my grandfather's grave is so dark, I can't tell what anything is. Then, among the clumps of earth, I see his skull, then white finger bones. Everything snaps into place. The finger bones are peeking out of a graying coat sleeve, wrapping delicately around the stem of a turquoise cross. The white finger bones holding the last movement of my grandfather's body feels like something I shouldn't see, so I close my eyes. Tia Perla is standing next to me. She tells her son, Fabian, the cross they buried Nono with was bronze, and Fabian explains that it is blue now because it has oxidized. Notice all the things the cross has stained blue, Nono's chest, the coat sleeve, the earth. Mummy is quiet too, but then I hear the sound of her camera shutter. There is a long steel tray for the remains lying on the grass. The grave digger in the yellow apron lowers into the tomb and the other two stay up top receiving parts. The first things to be placed on the tray are small bones and colored ribbons, but then it's earth or cloth, unidentifiable matter, and small pieces of paper which have blackened with time. The papers are requests for miracles. When a curandero dies, it is customary he carry his people's errands to the afterworld, where his powers are said to multiply. I wonder how many wishes were fulfilled. The grave digger in the yellow apron is crouching at the bottom of the tomb. He is looking at nothing, it seems, but then he sweeps aside dirt and pinches at two points. He pulls, and a coat emerges. He places his hand beneath the coat and a matching pair of pants breech. He is lifting my grandfather from the earth. Nono is born to the air, leveled inside a coat and pants, draped over this man's arms. The man in the grave swings his arms up to the man above ground, and they transfer Nono from one pair of arms to the other because the suit is not a suit filled with bones, but to us and to them for this brief moment, a person. The man above ground drapes the coat along the length of the tray. The pants are loose and fold underneath. Nono is headless, just a blue linen suit he wore on his wedding day, dusted in decay. Then the skull is added, and as a finishing touch, the shoes, all the ingredients of humanity on a tray. After a while, Tia Perla says, how black the skull is. It's normal, Fabian answers, it's the humidity. For the next 20 minutes, I don't know where the grave diggers go. I don't know what I am doing. Something wordless is coming to pass. My grandfather's femur is black dusted with soil and mine is still gleaming white. I am 28, as old in life as Nono is in death. We are two at the edge of the known and the unknown. His bones are conjuring.